Hey, this is John from Turbot. If you're looking for quick demos of Steampipe, you're in the right place. What if you could query a GitHub API directly in Postgres? Well, good news, now you can. Even better news, you can do the same thing for more than 100 other services. But let's focus on GitHub first and query for recent issues in a GitHub repository. Let's break this down. We're using a table called GitHub issue, which belongs to a schema called GitHub. Where does the schema come from? It's provided by the GitHub plugin for Steampipe, which translates APIs to foreign tables in Postgres. More than 100 of these are available as standalone Postgres foreign data wrappers. Like every other table provided by every Steampipe plugin, the GitHub issue table is carefully documented on the Steampipe hub. Here's the schema for the table. And here are examples you can copy, paste, and run. Let's do this one list unassigned issues in the Steampipe repo. I'll click here to copy the example and paste here to run it. The GitHub issue table we've been querying is just one of 55 tables available to you in the GitHub schema. You can find tables for search APIs or teams or actions. There's plenty to dig into here, but we're just scratching the surface because the GitHub extension is only one of more than 100 FTWs that you can use in the same way. Let's take a quick scroll through all of them to show the breadth of what's available. Schemas for cloud infrastructure include AWS, Azure, and GCP. For SaaS, there's ClickUp, Jira, and Slack, among others. Security tools like 1Password, CrowdStrike, and Trivi. Infrastructure as code definitions like Ansible, CloudFormation, and Terraform. Directories like Google, LDAP, and Okta and network tools like CRT.sh and Tailscale. In all, there are over 2,000 tables available for querying all these APIs. And again, each table is well-documented with examples you can copy, paste, and run. So how do you load these plugins as Postgres extensions? First, run the installer to copy the extension files for your plugin to your Postgres installation. For example, let's install the AWS plugin as a foreign data wrapper extension. As with all Postgres extensions, you use create extension to load it. Because these extensions are foreign data wrappers, we need to create a server. We'll create a schema for the foreign tables. And finally, we'll import the foreign tables defined by the extension into the schema we just created. And with that, we've made over 450 tables available for querying AWS APIs. Now we can query any of those tables. So here we'll query for EC2 instances. This all works the same way for more than 100 Steampipe plugins. To get started with this family of extensions, head over to steampipe.io, download a couple of them, and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you want to try Steampipe for yourself, download it for free today at steampipe.io. See the video description for links and details.